Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Bowie. I'm Matthew. And I'm pissed! Yeah, Dill's pissed. So, this fucker, um, when he first played through this game, he's th just up until this, ep this past episode, he thought that Mr. Mime was a good Pokemon. I thought Mr. Mime was okay. I knew he wasn't as good as Alex Zam. Or Mr. Mime. Or, I mean, or Mewtwo. Or Mew. But I thought he was okay. He's a single form psychic type Pokemon. So I'm like, okay, whatever. He's okay. Not the best. He's okay. I'm looking up stats for this piece of shit Pokemon, and I'm like, okay, his stats, his stats are ass. He's he's subpar to Starmie in every category, except special, and they're tied. So Starmie beats him out, and I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Mr. Mime can't be that bad. Abra has a higher special than Mr. Mime. <laughs> All his other stats, Abra, are about half that of Mr. Mimes. And I'm like, well, shit. And they're in the same speed tier. So if you want to use Mr. Mime, you can use Abra to the exact same effect. And you might be thinking like me, trying to cling to your ideals. But he can use Barrier or Reflect or Light Screen. As Matthew informed me, those don't switch over when you switch out Pokemon. So he can only buff himself. Which, I don't know, might turn your defense just over 100. But then you're going to be at a third year HP. So yeah, fuck Mr. Mime. Fuck Miles. That dude who wants to trade you a Clefairy ain't worth it. Clefable a much better Pokemon. <laughs> Clefable is a much better Pokemon. D -d don't do it. Use Abra if you want to use Mr. Mime. Anyways, <laughs> we're checking out this route right now. Um, and on this route... Um, there's a Pokemon that Dell's also going to talk about. He's going to tell you a little about the Pokemon Hypno. It's better than Mr. Mime! <laughs> it's better than most of the psychic types. Like, it's okay, it evolves from drought. Not better, it's not better than most of the psychic types. It's better than most of the unevolved and better than Mr. Mime. Yeah. It's got the third highest special? Let me check real quick. Yeah, it's got the third high, fourth highest special. Third highest, not counting Mewtwo. It's basically economic brand Mew, uh, Alakazam. You've got a little lower special, but you've got more HP, you've got more defense, you've got more attack if you just hate yourself. <laughs> and it has hella less speed, though. And it has a lot less speed. But the really fun thing about Hypno is that it has a really fun move pool, and it can use lots of status um, ailments, and it has... it's. A pretty decent special that that goes along with it. One of the only Pokemon that can reliably use Dream Eater, isn't that in this gen? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Um, it eats, Gengar. Yep, it eats your dreams. It puts you to sleep and eats your dreams. And but it's not really that great of a move at the end of the day. Yeah. But you know, you get you you win some, you lose some. Didn't it abduct a child in Gen Three? I mean, in one of the games. Yeah, in uh, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, uh, there's a Hypno that. Uh, children. You gotta go Well, just wants to be it. friends, and you have to give him berries. Oh, yeah. It just, it just wants to be friends. Yeah. Just Kinda like how Matthew wants me to be his friend, and I'm trapped in his basement. Well, we back on this again. <laughs> if you want to... Look, if you want to leave my basement, well, you can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I need you here, because no one else wants to play video games. No one else me. wants to play Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> no one else wants to watch me play Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> As I can see by your view count. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh, well. Uh, Pikachu, we got a Thunder Wave this fucker. Get him. But, you know, there's not really much on this route. It's actually very optional, and it's mostly for um, to get a little bit of HP. But there, I think there's a couple of items that you can find at the end of this route. Um, I don't need to be Thunder Waving again. Just do it anyway. I'm just talking like... I'm talking too much. Make him a quadriplegic. No, jeez. <laughs> that was something else I learned in this generation when Sun and Moon came out. Sun and Moon paralysis only affects you by half. And I was like... It why lowers your speed. It, it cuts your speed in half. Yeah, I was like, why is everybody bitching? It's always done that. Nope. Apparently in Gen 1 to like 5, it cuts your speed by 3 quarters. Yeah. Which understay, which I guess now it makes sense. Why? Gen 1 is the paralysis meta. Okay, so another interesting thing is on this route, there's a type of trainer called Gamblers. So, Gamblers only use three types of Pokemon, Water, 
fire, and grass. And they're called gamblers because they only use a full team of each one. So they're kind of, you know, in their way gambling. So this one only uses grass types. So he's kind of gambling that you, you're not using a fire type. So, um... I guess he gambled correctly. Yeah. But, you know, I can just send up Dr. and Dig. Uh, I think... I hope mine's faster. <laughs> Got him. So, now let me talk about, um... Some, ta some Pokemon tactics in this game. Talk about this broken-ass move. So, the thing is, is that Rap makes it so that your opponent cannot move. So, essentially, every single turn, you wrap it, and it loses all its turns. So, you're faster than it, and a lot of times, you're guaranteed to um, just make it have a really bad day. The issue with it is, is that it's not 100% accurate. But in Generation 1 of Pokemon, um, you know, everything, half the game is glitched. So if you use an X accuracy, it makes any move you have, including the 1 HKO moves, 100% accurate. So one of the things you can cheese is, if as long as you're faster than Pokemon, and you use an X accuracy, an X accuracy you are guaranteed to choke it out at infinitum. <laughs> and that's a strategy I'm going to be using with <laughs> uh, Deku Baba here. It's kind of his entire point. So... Stay tuned for the top quality uh, cheese setups. Stay tuned for 20 minute fights of the exact same thing over and over again. Yep. At this point you ask yourself, did we actually do this or did we just loop the video? <laughs> you'll never know. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. No, I guess you would know. We loop everything but the health bar. No, well, I could just take a little bit more editing, but we can do that. So that's one of the reasons why I end up loving Victory Bell. It has great attack and special, so it adds to being a, a mixed attacker that's really capable. And you can set up with Sword Stance um, and Sweep as well. And the crazy thing that it gets is Razor Leaf, which is a critical hit move. And in this generation, whatever your natural critical hit rate is, uh, you multiply that by 8, and that's the critical hit rate of a high critical hit move. Oh, which makes a lot of Pokemon um, have like 96%, which is what it caps out at, critical hit uh, rates um, in this generation of Pokemon with high crit moves. So Razor Leaf does that, so you're essentially doing, you know, um, 1.5 times damage due to um, same type of attack bonus, and then 2 times more damage um, with, um, spe you know, being it a critical hit, but then using it on Golem or Rhydon, that's another 4 times damage. You end up doing... Um, to one of those Pokemon, 12 times the normal damage. So that can be a lot, a lot of fun to really mess with something. Um, Just obliterate them. And it's one of my favorite Pokemon to use in Gen 1 because it gets Wrap. Um, and it can put Pokemon to sleep and can paralyze. And it also learns Cut if you need that HM. It's a Pokemon I highly recommend using. It's also one of like three that can use my favorite strategy in Gen 1, which is busted. Doesn't matter, it's not meta, it's a glitch in the game. Yeah, it's not, and it's not even like the best tactic, but it's still a fun little fun fact. Because in, in the code, Toxic and Leech Seed use the same variable. So if you stack Toxic and Leech Seed onto a Pokemon, Toxic kills twice as fast, and Leech Seed starts healing three times, four times, five times as much. Also, you get an escape rope with that tree. But what that means is you're in a stall match. So if you're paralyzed, good luck getting either one of those two off. <laughs> oh, shit. It also can't work on grass types. So, I mean, it's give and take. I yeah. tried to use my Venusaur with that. But uh, Alakazam eats Venusaur for breakfast. Uh, eats him. Yep, Alakaz well, Alakazam eats Victory Bell for breakfast. It eats most things on the meta for breakfast. Al Alakazam eats about 80% of the roster of Gen 1 uh, for breakfast. It just, the, the, thing, the, the thing that Psych-type Pokemon, they're all, lots of them are really squishy, and the thing that they really have to worry about are the normal types, which are the most powerful offensive type in the game. And this is a trainer battle. Because they can take a hit. Yeah, they can take a hit, but they're also crazy fast, and they have same type of attack bonus on Hyper Beam. And that same t stab hyper beam can get rid of most anything. That's why you have right. Oh boy. Good night. Yeah, that's why you have. That's why you have right on. Right on exists. Right on golem exists to, um. So you can wall those uh, really, really strong um, normal types. There's only eight Pokemon in the Gen One meta. Oh, there's 
Maybe 12 if you're generous. <laughs> uh, there's, I think there's a little bit more than that. Yeah. But it's there is a really stark difference between what's usable and what's not. Which, it makes it for an interesting topic to talk about because it is like a really silly uh, metagame. But it's it also hard. kind of funny, you know? It's fun to it's fun to play and it's fun to talk about. Because on one hand, you have Zapdos. Great-ass Pokemon. It's legendary. Okay, let's talk about another non Let's talk about non-legendary Pokemon. Tauros. Yeah. Stronger than, like, 95% of the Pokemon. And you got Mr. Fucking Mime. <laughs> who, like, fuck it. Use Oddish. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, there's just such a grand difference between ass Pokemon like Mr. Mime and Oddish, the great Pokemon. And Oddish, like <laughs> no, <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah. There's the the meta. What what's usable and not? Is um, it's huge. Look up for me real quick. Is Oddish uh, catchable in Yellow version? Probably. Get that sweet Blossom, bro. Blossom? Can't though, cause it's not in this game. Yeah, but, but Victory Bell's better. Especially once abilities come in. Well, they both get... Okay. I'm yeah, gonna have you, can, you can definitely catch Oddish. Okay. Like, the only one you can't get it in. Oh, speaking of Drowsy, look what Hombre decided to show up. Though, I don't really want a Drowsy, and I hope he doesn't just kill me. Most people don't want Drowsy. <laughs> I don't have... I should have bought some healing items, but I didn't. Oh, nerd. Wahaha! Ah ha ha He's never lost. Pro he probably never fought. Oh, yeah. He's a good... He, or maybe he's just really good at gambling. So, I think he might be the water type one. No, he's an electric type. Okay. No, I was wrong. They use up the four types, but... Um... This is the fastest Pokemon in... This is... Um... Voltorb evolves into the fastest Pokemon in the game, Electrode, so... It's still useless. It's... Still got niche use. It's got niche use for, you know, getting in and just having... It has a guaranteed... Um, if you, if you lose a Pokemon, you can throw it in, and it's got a guarantee paralysis against anything. But it has a poor move pool. And or you I'll, can kill yourself. I'll go ahead and give, like, the little bit of bio for Electrode, because it's a short one. It's really just throw in, try to, like, do damage really fast, but it has... It can learn Explosion, but it has one of the weakest Explosions in the game. It's not really that great. But it can be a quick... It's a hit, it's the hit-and-run Pokemon of the generation. Um, hit-and-die Pokemon. Yeah. Honestly, it's it ends up being a little bit underwhelming, but I wouldn't recommend it for meta that much, and it can only learn Flash um, when it comes to HMs. But you can have some decent fun with it in the main game. It does learn Explosion? Yeah, it's so a weak if, Explosion. If you can survive a hit, it has a very low attack though, so it's not gonna. It I don't, its Explosion doesn't even one H KO, KO Alakazam, and Alakazam has shit defense and shit HP. So, you're not really getting much out of this explosion, but you use it if in as a last-ditch effort. Yep. My first loss. My first battle! <laughs> Anyways, what I wanted to get here for is... You come out here, and... You got, a, you got this blocking your way. This is a sleeping Pokemon. Well, we'll have to deal with that later. Well, bye. Never um, mind. But, the real reason I came over here is... I don't think I have access to it yet. Yeah. So this this, this guy will talk to you. I'm looking for Lickitung. Want to trade one for a Doug Trio? Oh, not yet, bro. Want to trade one? Yeah. So he was going to give me a Doug Trio for a Lickitung, but I don't got a Lickitung. What? Does he say he wants a Lickitung? I'm looking for Lickitung. Want to trade one for Doug Trio? Yeah. So he wants you to give him a Lickitung to give you. Oh. Can you, what? So this is uh, one of Professor Oak's aides. Um, if you got 30 kinds of Pokemon, he's supposed to give you uh, an Iron Finder. Um, I haven't caught that, and I'm not going to. Oh, is that even good in this gen? Um, so like, what the Iron Finder does is you put, you put it takes up a bag space, which makes it kind of a, pa a waste of space. But it tells you, oh, there's an item in the direction you're facing, and then it ends up being not that great of an item. Um, but you can get that there, and I kind of wanted i wanted to make sure I showed that off. So, uh, that's going to be an episode. Um, next time, off camera, I'm going to take care of the rest of the trainers on this route. Um, and then, we're going to go and board the SS Anne, because we got that sweet ticket from uh, our good bro, Bill. Yeah! 
He was like, don't tell nobody I'm, I'm mixing myself up with Pokemon. Take <laughs> yeah. this ticket. Shh. Don't tell nobody. Yeah, it's, it was kind of a sketch situation. But, you know, that's what we're doing next time. So, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time, guys. My favorite item finder is in Oris, the funny little bunny hat. Is this a bunny hat? Yeah, yeah, you play, the item finder goes on your head. Oh, just, yeah, yeah. Know, womp, 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 womp. And then you just, it's much better than this item finder. This item finder is ass. It's cumbersome to use. Don't use it. Yeah. Don't use it. Don't worry about it. Just look up online where all the, you know, where the hidden items are. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.